Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a problem with their local development environment, specifically with the error message, subject alternative name missing an ER SSL version or cipher mismatch. Let's break down the situation. The viewer followed a guide to set up HTTPS on their local server, but suddenly it stopped working. They received a not secure warning, indicating that the certificate lacks a subject alternative name extension. Despite retrusting the certificate and attempting to recreate SSL keys, they still face issues. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. The first issue we need to address is the subject alternative name missing error. This error occurs when the SSL certificate does not include the necessary domain names or IP addresses. To resolve this, we need to create a new SSL certificate that includes the subject alternative name. Let's start by creating a configuration file named v3.xt. Next, we will generate the SSL certificate using the OpenSSL command. Make sure to include the ext file option to specify our configuration file. If you encounter an unknown option dahext file error, it may indicate an issue with your OpenSSL version. Ensure you are using a version that supports this option. After successfully generating the certificate, if you still see the ERSSL version or cipher mismatch error, it may be due to unsupported protocols. Ensure your server is configured to use compatible SSL TLS settings. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. A user found a solution for the subject alternative name missing an ER SSL version or cipher mismatch error. They realized their URI was an IP address instead of a host name. They modified the configuration file to include both the domain and the IP addresses in the subject alternative names. This adjustment helped resolve the SSL certificate issues they were facing. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.